Hello, viewers. This is Sridhar from Selpip Academy with yet another video on Selpip reading, reading for viewpoints. Let's see what do we have here. Majority of people have a problem with reading for viewpoints. So let's try to nail it today. Selpip reading for viewpoints, making a resolution. This reading module has 10 questions similar to the kinds of questions that you can expect to find on an actual self-pip test. Okay, so let me read the directions for part one. Read the following article. Making a resolution to improve your finances puts you several steps closer along the road to a better bottom line based on a data from Fidelity Investments 8th Annual New Year Financial Resolution Study. Looking for a resolution that will pay off and pay dividends. Simply resolving to pay more attention to your finances improves the chances that your financial health will improve. According to the Fidelity study, 45% of individuals who reported making financial resolutions at the start of 2016 were more debt-free at the end compared with 34% of individuals who did not report making any financial resolutions within the past year. In addition, those who made financial resolutions were more likely to say they felt financially secure compared to those who did not make any resolutions, 45% versus 34%. Understanding of reading is very important, viewers. The study also found that the three most popular financial resolutions for 2017 were saving more 50%, paying off debts 28%, and cutting back on spending 16%. Among individuals who went beyond making a resolution and actually followed through on it, 66% reported that they were in a better financial situation. The potential for unexpected expenses such as home repairs or medical bills can derail financial security. But consumer education can help. For those who res whose resolution fell short in 2016, almost three quarters said they were derailed by unforeseen expenses. So setting aside an emergency fund can create a buffer, says Ken Howard, Fidelity's Senior Vice President of Retirement. Fidelity's online guide, three financial resources for 2017 can help Consumers discover how small changes can add up to improve the family's finances. Whether it's a new roof for your home or a medical emergency, the unexpected can throw your finances for a loop, Hebert explains. And especially smart, small, uh, smart tip from the guide that anyone can apply, switch to no fee financial institutions instead of paying $40 in bank and credit card fees and invest the money instead. After 20 years with a hypothetical compound annual growth rate of 7%, you could be looking for $22,000 windfall. That means you can make so much of money if you just pay $43. So let's move on to the part two of the directions. Answer the questions by choosing the best word or phrase to complete the sentence referring to the article when necessary. Question number one, a medical emergency can dash A, drive you to save more money, B, discourage you from making further resolutions, C, bolster your investments, D, put your finances in disarray. We could infer from the paragraph, D is the right answer because a medical emergency can put your finances in disarray. Okay, so question number two, according to Fidelity Dash A, people who made resolutions felt more secure. B, investments can fluctuate. C, people rarely follow through on their resolution. D, resolutions have little impact on long-term financial health. So according to Fidelity, people who made resolutions felt more secure is what we deduce from the paragraph. Question number three. Consumer education can help A, derail financial security, B, lead to unexpected expenses, C, a person prepare for unexpected expenses, D, help a person pay accumulate debt. Consumer education can help 
C is the right answer we saw in the paragraph, a person prepare for unexpected expenses if you have some kind of education. All right, four, Fidelity's online guide dash. A, wants of potential losses in the market. B, advises people to move their money to no fee financial institutions. C, wants consumers of making bad resolutions. D, encourages people to seek investments that pay dividends. We could infer from the paragraph that no fee financial institutions is what the Fidelity Online Guide advises people to move their money to. So B is the right answer. All right. Question number five. Saving $43 in bank fees could result in a net loss of $22,000 in 20 years. B, an income of $22,000 for 20 years, a profit of $22,000 in 20 years, and D, an accrued debt of $22,000 in 20 years. We could deduce from the paragraph that C is the right answer. You can make a profit of $22,000 in 20 years. Let's move on to part three viewers. Directions, the following is a response from a skeptical reader of the article. I agree that paying attention to finances will improve a person's financial health, but people dash. A, rarely have enough money to save. B, rarely even think about their resolution after making them. C, usually delay gratification. D, usually lose their investments to greedy bankers. We could make out from the paragraph that B is the right answer. Rarely even think about their resolutions after making them. All right. So it's funny that senior vice president uses a growth rate of 7% in his example since when he fidelity investment actually dash. A, lost money. B, cost $1.43. C, made anyone rich. D, return 7%. We could infer from the um, paragraph that D is the right answer, returned 7%. It's funny that the senior vice president uses a growth rate of 7% in this example since when has a fidelity investment actually returned 7% is the right answer. All right. My grandpa had mutual funds with fidelity and only average 3%. Sure, individual investments in the fund might perform well, but after the ridiculous mutual fund fees, the final return is dash. A, always lower. B, always higher. C, always the same. D, always uh, unpredictable. So A should be the right answer, always lower. So the grandpa who had mutual funds with fidelity and average 3%, that means always lower. You also saw and inferred from the paragraph that Howard's solution to a medical emergency is laughable. Does he really think a person will be able to prepare for an event like that by dash? A, making a resolution. B, using fidelity. Fidelity's online guide. C, saving $43 in banking fees. D, becoming debt-free. We could deduce from the paragraph, it's C, which is the right answer, saving $1.43 in banking fees will definitely guide you and make you profitable of um, $22,000. All right. Sure, maybe in 20 years, if I break my toe, I will be able to pay for a doctor's visit, but I definitely won't be able to afford a major surgery. To me, it seems like this article is just a dash. A, way to make people save money. B, plug for making resolutions. C, warning to prepare for a financial catastrophe. D, marketing gimmick to attract more customers. So to me, it seems like this article is just a marketing gimmick to attract more customers. So D should be the right answer. So viewers, this is how you have to crack the view for, I mean, sorry, uh, reading for viewpoints in the reading. So this way, I think most people have, uh, after joining my session, have made it a habit to read from articles, from journals, and they all made it a point. They do at least one or two readings before coming to my sessions. 
And after taking the training, they saw a sea change in their scores in CELPIP. So they all scored more than CLB 9 and CLB 10 sometimes. Sometimes even CLB 11 and 12 on the reading and listening. Listening, of course, is the easiest. So far, I've not uh, had a chance to record my uh, CELPIP listening. Anyway, I shall do it in the future. So see you on the other side. Thanks for watching my video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Also comment below this way. I'll be able to come up with more such videos in the future. Signing off. See you next time. Until then, goodbye.